Whether or not the whole most important meal of the day thing is very good and very expensive marketing or not, let's leave it aside. It's still my favorite meal of the day. It's my favorite time of the day. The first thing I want to do and the thing I'm happiest to do as soon as I open my eyes in the morning. Breakfast, breaking up fast, let's talk about it. Today I am bringing you guys another one of these what I eat in a week for breakfast videos because you guys have been lapping up the other ones that I've made, so here we are. Thankfully it's starting to be a little less dark in the mornings now, so we have some slightly better quality footage. I must say an apology in advance for any savoury breakfast lovers. This week was a particularly sweet one through a combination of baking, recipe testing and circumstances. There's been a lot of lovely sweet things as well as some good balance, some nutrition and things in there and of course plenty of coffee. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Maybe it'll give you some ideas for something you'd like to try for breakfast. Maybe it'll do the opposite. Either way, it's fine. <laughs> Maybe you're just a little nosy. For whatever reason you're here, let's get to it. The week very happily started with a pastry from one of my favourite pasticceria here in Venice. It was a miserable day. In fact, it's mostly been a miserable week weather-wise. So stopping in here before heading to work, even if we were in a little bit of a rush, was no problem whatsoever. A couple of caffè macchiato. I don't add sugar because I'm not weak. Um, that's only half of a joke. <laughs> and I got this lovely cinnamon raisin swirly pastry thing. A combination you don't see very often here, but very, very good. Into day two, and we were having breakfast at home, starting with some lovely blood orange juice. Do excuse the electrified looking mane that was on my head this day, but it is still very much citrus season here. Blood oranges are super affordable and super delicious, so we've been making a lot of juice. I love the fact that sometimes it comes out almost looking like red wine. It's so dark. So I had a glass of this before then getting into just some regular plain yogurt, something I've been really liking in the mornings just now and something I've, I mean, I've always liked since I was a kid. And to use up some jam from a recipe test I was doing this week, I added a couple of blobs of that very uh, sensibly with <laughs> the back end of a knife, don't ask me why, before kind of swirling it all in together basically like a homemade Muller Corner, but a bit bigger and more satisfying. From the cupboard, we grabbed a slice or two or a fat wedge really of this focaccia veneziana that has uh, mandarin and almonds. Really, really good. So kind of Christmassy feeling in March, but nothing wrong with that. Day three continued on the yogurt train, adding a little bit of cereal on top. Started with a little sip of this <laughs> ridiculously large apple juice carton box container. I have no idea. It wasn't my idea, but I did drink some of it before having the whole yogurt and jam arrangement again with the last of a bag of cereal that we had sitting around. Nice, sweet, creamy, fruity before following it with a lovely little um, homemade mocha in my favorite little bright Canadian yellow mocha pot. And as always, no milk, no sugar, just to round off all that sweetness. Day four, I was in a little bit of a rush to get out of the door and there was this lovely kind of apricot walnut pastry thing just sitting there begging to be eaten that um, my other half had bought the day before. So I shoved a banana um, in my face before enjoying the little pastry that came out of the bag. I was a little bit suspicious there was marzipan in there, but thankfully there wasn't. Almonds uh, were absent. It was walnut and apricot. Not too bad. Not kind of the best I've ever had, but definitely not too bad. And followed this up with something else that was brand new that I wanted to try, or at least brand new to me, which was one of these like iced coffee drinks, which we'd bought the day before. It was a kind of chocolate mocha version of an iced coffee. Basically to me, it tasted like a chocolate milkshake with coffee in it. it. Wasn't too bad at all. On day five, I reached in to grab another slice or two of that mandarin uh, focaccia veneziana as well as one of these absurdly sexy little red wax topped pears. I don't know why they do that on top. I mean, probably just so they can charge more for them, but honestly, it's worth it. They're juicy, they're sweet, and they're absolutely massive as well. So very happily enjoyed the juices of this rolling down my chin first thing in the morning before having a little bit of this dark chocolate hazelnut cream that I'd bought in uh, Bassano nearby to Venice on top of a little slice of the same kind of mandarin focaccia thing I had earlier in the week. Here I am very daintily slicing off 
a big fat wedge of it and then slicing that in two to smother it in chocolate and hazelnut goodness. Um, you'd think this would be overwhelmingly sweet, but because it's kind of like panettone, it's not too sweet on its own. And this cream is definitely more dark chocolate than anything else. So it's actually really kind of nicely balanced and again, festive feeling, which is no problem on a very festive looking morning outside. <laughs> Though to be honest, they sell these things kind of all year round in Venice. I don't know if they were originally maybe a Christmas thing or an Easter thing because you see them alongside Panettone and Colombe, which are the other two kind of festive bread cake things, but I think they're very good. It's fluffy, somewhere between a cake and bread and goes perfectly well as always with a little coffee afterwards. Day six, do forgive these somewhat shocking brownies, I will explain. But first I was woken up by uh, Tato deciding to use me as bread dough or just an object of violence, I'm not entirely sure, before heading through to the kitchen and grabbing not only a tub of yogurt, an actual bucket, because we'd made some tzatziki. <laughs> So we needed an absurdly large quantity. So I made my usual little kind of yogurt bowl thing, adding the, unsurprisingly, first the yogurt and then a little bit of the same jam, just because I don't want it to go to waste whatsoever and because it goes perfectly with this kind of plain yogurt. Then adding banana to make a nice, sweet, creamy, fruity combination, as always, in the bowl, before then stealing a cheeky bite of crispy bacon. Um, Don't ask, it was available because my other half was cooking it and he in return stole a bite of banana and <laughs> after this lovely little kind of healthy balanced yogurt bowl these somewhat terrifying looking brownies now a little bit of um explanation here those chocolate orange buttons were bought thinking that they were just chocolate with orange flavoring and they are but they're also um just vividly orange in color which looked slightly hilarious in these brownies and I also tried to make a blood orange glaze which tasted great but looked terrible so yeah I had two of those and the following morning with a brand new bag of cereal to open from the same brand because it was on sale at the shop near where we live I just uh, grabbed myself well first this alarmingly large chunk that was in it essentially like a flapjack or a biscuit in size before pouring myself a big old bowlful adding in some little slices of banana as always lazily sliced with the side of a spoon rather than dirtying a knife and pouring a nice amount of milk on top classic can't beat it just lovely and full of flavors and textures very happy about it before then having another one of the scary but still somewhat sexy brownies and of course a little cup of coffee and there we have it folks everything i ate for breakfast this week if you guys would like to see more of these videos specifically around breakfast or if you prefer to see some lunch footage maybe as the evenings get lighter even uh, kind of what I eat in a week for dinner do let me know in the comments below let me know if you've gotten any inspiration from this or if you're just very bored of seeing enormous buckets of yogurt pastries either way that's fine I'll probably continue having them anyway <laughs> thank you guys so 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 much as always for watching don't forget that any of the recipes that you see can usually be found on maverickbaking.com or here on the channel or if not there were probably tests that turned out looking a little bit weird looking at you brownies on day six thank you guys as always for watching and I will see you for the next one